Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, we're going to take a look at who is it you're supposed to marry or who is it you're meant to be with. So let's go ahead and jump right into these messages and see what comes through for you. And before we do, do all those youtube -y things, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop me a comment if this resonates with you. So let's go ahead and see what clear messages, advice, and guidance comes through for my dearest Cancers, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your person is showing up as the Nine of Pentacles, all right, Venus and Virgo energy. What they're doing now, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, nice. How and when you may meet this person, the Star card, Aquarius energy. And advice and or any challenges to this connection, we have the Five of Swords. All right, we have the King of Swords showing up here in reverse, um, which is telling me, Cancer, that a lot of you... Um, I feel like you're definitely not in communication with this person, or maybe you just don't even know who they are, but they are coming towards you. The Wheel of Fortune indicates destiny, but I also feel like this person is in the Nine of Pentacles energy. This is somebody who is has a lot to offer. This is somebody who's single, who's available, but I do feel like they're really focused on on their finances. They're building up their finances and a solid foundation. For some of you too, they may currently be traveling or they travel a lot for work. Let's see. They're showing up as the nine of pentacles, which tells me they're in a very healthy energy. They look good. They're feeling good. And they're showing up as the king of cups. Okay. So this person is very loving. This person is very caring. And with those two seahorses there, Cancer, this is absolutely soulmate confirmation. All right. But this person doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. They could also be a creative visionary. All right. And right now I feel like with the eight of swords, this person isn't even really looking for love. I, are they open to love? I feel like they are, but I feel their main focus right now, Cancer, is finances, stability. Maybe they're working on buying a home. Um, maybe they're working on even some of you. I feel like they're working on buying like an investment property right now. And with the seven of cups, it could be somebody that you meet online. Um, I do feel like this person does get a lot of attention because it does feel like they have a lot to offer. All right, so let's see what else we need to know about them. What else do we need to know about this person that Cancer is supposed to marry or is meant to be with? All right, so we have, okay, so for some of you, they're they're in a period of recovery. Yeah, but I do feel like they're they're working very, very hard towards healing. Again, some of you, maybe they're healing from, you know, some sort of karmic situation, but it feels more like in their finances, but it feels like this person's on the up and up here, Cancer. Okay. And this person may be a single parent. Okay. So they may have one or more children. A blended family may result. And we do see your ex. Interesting. So some of my Cancer's this could be somebody that you already know in the King of Swords in reverse certainly could indicate that this may be somebody that you've that you've been with before. OK, and we see that they're in a passive role. I was definitely getting that cancer. So I do feel that they're they're not asserting themselves right now. They're working on up leveling. They're working on, you know, their finances. They're working on stability. This person, yeah, I, and I'm, they just showed me a big diamond ring, which again, that could be figurative. It could be that they're working on saving up for you, um, but it could just be that they're working on, you know, like investing in something. I'm seeing something that is going, you know, I'm seeing it being insured. So again, this person has, they have nice things. They want nice things and they want to share that with you, Cancer. All right. I know not all of you are going to love this, your ex energy, but you know, we can't change the messages that come through. So for some of my Cancers, you're meant to be with somebody and, and you already know who this person is. But I'm also seeing that for those of you where this isn't your ex, this really could be someone who's connected to your ex in some way. Maybe they work for the same company. Maybe they're from the same town. Maybe they have all of the positive qualities that you fell in love with, with your ex, right? So just bear that in mind and use your intuition, Cancers. So what 
um, what they're doing right now, we have the wheel of fortune and it tells me that this person is, this person is definitely working towards their future. They're working towards maybe paying off debt. Maybe they're recovering from, you know, uh, some bad investments, a divorce, uh, something along those lines. Let's see. And, uh, and again, for some of you, they, they do have to deal with an ex here. So maybe this is their ex. They might co-parent with an ex. All right, let's see. So they're in the Wheel of Fortune energy. All right, yeah, this person is, yeah, they're hustling. This person is not lazy. This person is right now, they're grinding, they're hustling, and the Emperor energy in reverse, and they're very, very determined. It's almost like they have this singular vision to heal their finances or to get a raise or a promotion or to build this business to get it off the ground. Yeah, so I do feel my cancers, you are gonna have to be patient. This person is really, really focused on their career and finances right now. All right, let's see what else we need to know about this person, how you might be able to identify them. Yeah, interesting. And I, and I do feel for some of you, they might be dealing with an ex. This card here really could be that they've got, they've got a bit of a struggle here with a co-parenting situation. Yeah, they've been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past. There it is. All right, and they could be a fire sun, so possibly an Aries, although it could be Leo or Sag. And yep, this person may like to wear jewelry, but this is also confirmation for me that they have been married before cancer and they may have an imperfection in their speech. Okay. That could be from being bilingual, um, but it could mean, you know, it could be diff many different things. This person may stutter a little bit when they get nervous. All right, let's see. All right. So this person, they're looking for partnership commitment, you know, they, they may still want to build a family. If you're, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, they may still want family. Family is very important to them. All right. So we get strong earth in their chart. I'm seeing Virgo, but it could be Taurus or Capricorn here. And we're also seeing that, yep, they could have a career as a teacher, police, military, fireman, court, legal construction. I almost feel too, this person might have a side hustle. This is somebody who's working really, really hard to change their circumstances. Yep. And they could have a side hustle here in social media, um, an entrepreneur, a side hustle. There's that confirmation, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, graphic designer, and computer tech. So you've got somebody here, Cancer, who's really, really working hard on their finances. They're really working hard on recovery. I do see them doing very well. Like I said, they did show me like a ring, a diamond ring. And it's interesting that the, that this energy came through with wears more than two rings frequently, but it, it, it's like, I'm seeing them needing to have it insured. Like this person wants nice things, has nice things, but it's also all about investments, cancer. So I feel this person is investing in their future. They're going to have a lot to offer. So when we get the how and when, uh, you're going to meet this person. We have the star card coming through. And so I do feel like this is wish fulfillment. I do feel like it's written in the stars, but we also get Aquarius season. So now maybe it's going to take that long for this person to come to you. Um, Aquarius season is, you know, January, February. It could be like a Valentine's Day romance, but it can also be this full moon in Aquarius that we have coming up. All right. So it's within, you know, between August and January is what I'm getting, August and February, that you'll be meeting this person or they'll be coming into your life. All right, let's see. Yeah, Page of Cups, this person, definitely strong soulmate energy. I do get that there's children that may be involved. Maybe you'll somehow meet through their child or, you know, it could be through their child care. Um, or maybe you meet them and they're with their child. I am seeing them having someone, I'm seeing them having like a, a younger child, like somebody at the playground holding their hand, or maybe they're taking their child to the dentist or something like that. So children might be involved in how you two meet. And yeah, we get the two of cups coming through here as well. I do think it's going to be an instant attraction. I think it's going to be an instant recognition of soulmates. And I do feel, yeah, I feel, I feel like, I feel like this is going to be, you know, it's going to be something that you recognize right away. A lot of my cancers, I feel like you are going to be, you're, you're single when you meet this person and you may also be going through 
um, you know, recently having gone through some type of separation. I don't think this person is recently separated. I do think that they're struggling with healing from that and very focused on their finances. But some of my cancers, you've gone through a recent separation, but I definitely see you being single and focused on you. Some of you, there's, I just get that there's going to be instant recognition here, cancer, for you when you meet this person. And that could indicate a past life soul connection. Let's see, is there anything else that will help my cancers understand how or when they may meet this person? How or when they might meet this person? It's going to be magic when you do meet them. So I'm also seeing serendipity here. So it's going to be very unexpected. And we get biblical. Okay, so interesting. Some of you, um, you might be, you know, you could meet this person in some sort of religious or spiritual setting. All right. So it could be, you know, it could just be that you're walking by a church when you meet this person, or maybe, you know, there's taking someone, their child to Sunday school or something like that. Maybe you're on your way to a meditation group. Maybe you're on your way to, you know, some sort of, yeah, like I'm, I'm getting some sort of spiritual, you know, if you're, if you're taking like a spiritual retreat, obviously it could be that. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some sort of house of worship nearby when you meet this person or involved in your connection or in meeting spirit saying angels. Yeah. So we get some of you, um, not some of you, all of you, this is going, this is a connection that is going to be brought together by the divine. So you're getting a lot of, you're getting a lot of support from your angels, from your guides that are going to help you help you come together. And it's going to feel very magical, when it, when it does happen, cancer, it's going to feel magical. It's going to feel surreal. Um, okay. So let's see if we can get some when cards here for my cancer, any important dates here for my cancers. Although I do feel there's something with Aquarius energy. So anywhere between, you know, like August and February that this person is going to be coming into your life, but let's see, we get July. Okay. So maybe the very end of July, that's this month. And we do see in the distant future. Okay. So again, some of you may be my July cancers. Uh, for some of you, this person, again, might be finalizing a divorce or separation in July and you meet them down the line, right? So in the distant future here, cancer. All right. Now we also see, we see the five of swords here. This, this is your advice and your challenges. So some of my cancers, there might be some mental conflict here. Now that could be because this person is dealing with or has a little bit of drama or difficulty because of having to co-parent with someone. Some of my cancers, you might not be so sure if you want to get invested or involved with someone who is, you know, who's a single parent, take on the responsibilities. And again, maybe they do have a little bit of drama in their life. I also see them being very focused on their career and finances. So that is something that you're going to wonder, you know, do they have time for me? Is this something that I should invest in? All right. I am seeing some of my cancers suffering from headaches or migraines. Um, if that's you, this could be confirmation for your reading or maybe some of you are like struggling with a headache today. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see. We also see, all right, the page of wands. Spirit's telling you to take a leap of faith here, Cancer. And the Ace of Swords energy in reverse. Yeah, some of my cancers, though, I feel like, you know, you, you might be struggling with a blocked throat chakra. And I feel like spirit saying, you know what, you want to speak your peace with this person. Remember, the right person is not going to be put off by you telling them, hey, there are certain things about this connection that make me uncomfortable. Can we take it slow? Um, can you give me time to, you know, adjust or assimilate to possibly being, you know, a, a co-parent here? Um so I feel like it's important that you really do speak up, speak your mind. The right person, this person is not going to be put off by that cancer. And if you need more time, I feel this person will definitely give it to you. All right. So let's see what else we need to know here. Anything else we need to know? All right. So we see release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Yeah, I feel like a lot of my cancers, some of you, there's going to be some overthinking. There's going to be some mental conflict about whether or not you really, truly want to get involved with this person. But I do see that spirit saying, you know what? Let go. Take a leap of faith. All right. 
and this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So there may be certain challenges here, but I also feel like there's a positive outcome and lean on your inner circle during this time. I also feel this person is going to be a part of your support system. I do feel that they're very loving and they're very supportive. And I, I feel like they also have a lot to offer you, Cancer. And I, and I think they're looking for the same thing. But we do see that financial challenges are affecting this connection. So that could be some of the delays uh, for them coming towards you. Um, some of my Cancers too. Again, you might be a little bit in your head about this person being very, very focused on financial challenges, although I see them doing very well, Cancer, but you might meet them while they're still in that recovery. So any challenges here for my Cancers, any additional challenges or information that my Cancers need to be aware of? Separation, yeah, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So I do feel, I mean, for a very select few of my Cancers, this might be somebody that you are, are in separation from and this would be your confirmation. But for others of my Cancers, I feel like there's this, I'm not sure about the future with this person because they, you know, they have children and I don't. Is that something I want to take on? They have, you know, they're in this process of financial recovery. Do they have time? Do they have space for a connection? All right. And, um, but Spirit's saying, make memories here, Cancer. Learn from the past. Speak up with that, with the, th with the Ace of Swords showing up. Speak up. Speak your peace. Remember, the right person is, is not going to be put off by you saying, you know, speaking what's on your mind, telling you how you, telling them how you really, really feel. And I, I feel that's also going to build a lot of trust between you and this person, which is golden. All right. Any final messages here for my cancers, please? All right. We have physical connection. So you're going to have a very, it's going to be a very sexual connection. It's going to be a connection where this person's going to open open that up in you, Cancer, open up that part of you um, that maybe you haven't felt for quite some time or you haven't felt this attracted to someone in a long time. And Spirit's again confirming that this is a lasting love, that this is your true love here, Cancer. All right, any final advice for my Cancers, please? Any final advice for my Cancers, please? Okay, this is a this story will have a happy ending. So though it may not seem like it now, you will accomplish far more than you could ever imagine. Your story will have a happy ending, Cancer. Wow. All right. So Cancers, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this new style of reading. Don't forget to hit this like button, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.